Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to the ending zzz, of Let's Play Wing Commander of the Secret Missions. Well, let's start by uh, go showing you what happens when we've got our final 223 kills, we've destroyed the Sivar, and life is good. And we're a major. And look at, man, look at that medal that we got. Wow, that's pretty good. Ah, the throne chamber of the Emperor of Kilra. Hmm, let's see what we got going on here. Former Grand Admiral. Oh, okay. Ooh, maybe maybe he's the. Uh, I guess he's a former because he, uh, um, you know, did, wasn't able to get the job done. I Man, that's kind of scary. It's you know that the Emperor there. It looks like he's stroking a cat, kind of like you know Doctor Evil or not. Sorry, Doctor Claw, striking, uh, petting his cat there. You know from Inspector Gadget. Man, I missed that show. That was a great show. And an apology must be given. Whoa. Wow. Ouch. Man, don't screw with the kill Rafi. Holy crap. In silence. Yeah, had to give some signs. Okay, well, that's it. We have, that's the ending uh, on the rookie mode. I'm not sure if there's an ace ending. If, if I have time, I may come back and show you that. We'll see. But Okay, so now we'll let the credits roll. Um, so now I'm going to show you what happens. Actually, I'll talk to you a little bit, and then I'll show you what happens here in a minute. But first off, I want to say... Thanks to everybody who's watched. Um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed uh, the Let's Play series. I've really enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been great. Um, just want to let you know I'll be taking a couple days uh, just to figure out exactly what I'm going to do next. i got to make sure I'm getting either Wing Commander 2 or Wing Commander 4 working. Uh, not quite sure what I'll be doing next. Uh, again, just got to do some tests and things like that and get my recording software set up. But uh, as soon as I get that up and running, I promise I will be back with my next Let's Play series probably in a few days. Uh, might not even be till next week, so just sit tight. Um, also, keep uh, letting me know about some games you want me to play. Um, I've been getting some requests in uh, for some games, and my my thing is, uh, I really try to do two things: one, play a game that I know relatively well, so that I feel you know confident bringing you the best information on how to be successful, and a more detailed walkthrough. Plus, I also want to try and do games as much as I can that there aren't a whole lot of walkthroughs out there for. Just because, you know, I don't want to be like the 20th guy that's put out a Final Fantasy VII walkthrough or something like that, you know. It'll get lost. Now, once I get some subscribers, I may do one, but we'll see. But for now, just keep those requests coming. Uh, and if, if you've made a request before and, I met and I've forgotten, you know, go ahead and re-remind me uh, so that I can start putting that on my preparations list. But, uh, ooh, quality assurance. All right. But, uh, yeah, just let me know. So I think we're almost done with the credits here. So as soon as these are done, I'll show you the next ending. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, try again as an ace pilot. So if I have time, I'll do that. But now let me show you what happens if you are not successful. So let's go forward to that. Once the curtain closes, of course. Okay, I'm now uh, I'm back, and I'm about to do the final mission of the game again where I go after the Sivar. But I'm actually going to eject and pretend that I lose this mission. So, the eject secret is the same as before. You just eject there. Your ship blows up. And then, uh, okay. So I'll scoot past that. Okay, now I'm in the commander's office, or the colonel's offices. Okay. What's up? Okay, so just like before, you get the Golden Sun Award for ejecting and surviving. So yeah, uh, you know, standard operating procedure. Just like uh, in the original Wing Commander. So we'll be getting that award there. Okay, one more thing to tell me. Okay, fair enough. Okay, some personnel changes. Very good. I'll be reassigned. Okay, great. It, what? What am I going to be reassigned to? I don't get it. Okay, well, here's the award ceremony. I'm going to show you this here. Ah, oh, bravely sacrificing his vessel. Yeah. In combat with the Kilrathi, even though I just ejected right outside. There. And I get a golden sun. But I lost my... Oh, yeah, I haven't got the award yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I haven't been given the Terran Medal of Honor yet there, so... Okay. And there's the final, even though I got 199 kills, and there's my golden sun, but what happens next? Where am I being reassigned to? Oh, I'm being reassigned to the Kilrathi Slave Mines. Oh, that's not good. Yep, so uh, the game assumes that the Tiger's Claw failed and ran away. Oh. So they've now established some dominance. Oh, that gravitational weapon. Oh, man. Thousands of humans. Oh my god. Did the Kilokin Illudium mines? 
What's Illudium? If anybody knows, let me know. Their toil fueling the Kilrathi advance toward the human homeworlds. Oh my god. And that's it. Wow. Well, that's kind of a sad ending, but oh, what are you going to do? Okay, well, uh, I guess that's all then for uh, this Let's Play series. No really need to do any bonus episodes, so I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Let's go ahead and stick with the happy ending at the end. <laughs> but until the next walkthrough or Let's Play or whatever you want to call it, BCS Universe, this is BCS, uh, BCS Buster, that's my name, signing off. Hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play series, and once again, take care, y'all.